Welcome to EA4, Global Englishes for English Medium Instruction. English is now a globalised phenomenon and the numbers of English speakers around the globe have risen dramatically. Today, non-native English speakers outnumber native English speakers, terms that are problematised in this module. And English has become the world's foremost lingua franca, dominating the world in a number of domains. It is often a compulsory subject in schools, often required to enter higher education and even to graduate, particularly with the growth in English medium instruction in higher education. In EA3, we explore the phenomenal growth in EMI provision in higher education settings, where in places like Japan, there has been a string of government policies to attract international students and increase EMI provision. In this module, we explore the globalisation of the English language more generally, looking at how the English language has transcended its original boundaries, resulting in more contact with other languages than any other language in the world. Throughout the lectures, I will highlight that it is no longer relevant to associate English purely with native English-speaking nations, Today, English is spoken by a global community and therefore is a language with a global ownership. Japan, for example, has one of the largest commercial markets for English language teaching. English is often the only foreign language option in schools. As noted, some students are studying their entire degree in English and some workers and companies such as Uniqlo and Rakuten use English on a daily basis. People in such contexts may not actively travel to a traditional English-speaking country, but it is increasingly likely that they will need to write and carry out negotiations in English, particularly if they're working in the globalised business arena or studying in an EMI university. This shift in English language use has been accompanied by shifts in the needs of English language learners, necessitating curriculum innovation in both teaching English as a subject and teaching in English, topics that will also be explored in this module. The changing sociolinguistic uses of the English language have resulted in a wealth of research that investigates topics such as the history of English, language change, language variation, language attitudes and English language teaching. Research in these fields are brought together under the umbrella term of Global Englishes, a topic explored in this module. Global Englishes research showcases how language change is natural and normal, how languages are in contact with one another, especially English, which is used in more language contact situations than any other, that the ownership of English should be viewed as a global concept, that English is adaptable, fluid and ever-changing, that many English users have a multilingual or translingual repertoire which they utilise to successfully communicate in English. In this module, we explore the global spread of the English language and the development of English in relation to historical, social and economic forces. We also explore key issues in the field of global Englishes and the implication of such research for the way the language should be taught, given the fact that the majority of English learners will likely use the language as a lingua franca with fellow non-native English speakers. Global Englishes is an umbrella term that unites research in the fields of world Englishes, English as an international language and English as a lingua franca and other related fields such as translanguaging and the multilingual turn. Research in these diverse but overlapping fields explores the impact of the global spread of English on English users and learners and the use of the term global Englishes aims to unite the shared agendas, ideologies and calls for change to pedagogy. In this series of 10 lectures, we begin in lecture two with an examination of the historical perspective on the spread of English and how it is used today. In lecture three,
I introduce key concepts and theories related to language change and variation, showcasing work in the World English's paradigm and English as a lingua franca. In Lecture 4, I explore the concept of standard language ideology, another concept that needs a historical perspective to gain a full understanding of the attachments towards the concept of a standard English. In Lecture 5, I examine what a global English's perspective looks like and in Lectures 5, 6 and 7, I explore the relevance of this for EMI, looking at language-related challenges, the role of English, the E in EMI and EMI curriculum design and evaluation. Lecture 10 ends with a look at the future of EMI in higher education. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the lectures.